Welcome to Quick Take Movie Review. Here's a quick review of My Spy, The Eternal City, starring Dave Bautista, Chloe Coleman, Anna Faris, and directed by Peter Siegel. Watch this review until the end to find out if this movie would appeal to you. My Spy, The Eternal City is a sequel to the original My Spy released during the pandemic. The film follows JJ and his adopted daughter Sophie as they join forces to thwart a nuclear threat that emerges during a school choir trip to Italy. My Spy, The Eternal City attempts to build on the charm of its predecessor, but it struggles to find its footing, particularly with its target audience. While the first movie was a family-friendly entertainer, this sequel introduces a few crass jokes that seem out of place for a genre typically meant for all ages. The movie's central storyline revolves around the familiar yet cliched dynamic of a father-daughter relationship. While this well-worn trope can still be endearing, it feels a bit tired here. However, the film does have redeeming qualities that keep it afloat. Kristen Schaal and Ken Jeong deliver hilarious one-liners that inject much-needed humor into the narrative. Their comedic timing provides some of the movie's best moments and helps to offset the convoluted plot. The story itself is a bit all over the place, often relying on convenient situations to move the plot forward. Despite this, the performances by the cast are competent. Dave Bautista and Chloe Coleman reprise their roles, bringing the same chemistry that made the original film enjoyable. Their on-screen relationship is heartwarming, and they handle both the action and emotional scenes with ease. The action sequences in My Spy, The Eternal City are well executed, with some thrilling moments that will keep viewers engaged. The Italian backdrop provides a beautiful setting for the film, and the cinematography takes full advantage of these picturesque locations. Visually, the movie is a treat, with well-shot scenes that capture the essence of Italy. Director Peter Siegel, who helmed the first film, seems to have aimed for a slightly older audience this time around. However, he struggles to get the tone right, resulting in a film that feels disjointed. The attempt to cater to teens while maintaining the charm of a family movie doesn't quite succeed, leaving the film in a sort of limbo. In conclusion, My Spy, The Eternal City might offer an average viewing experience if approached with low expectations. The film's humor, action, and beautiful locations make it a watchable sequel, but it lacks the cohesive charm of its predecessor. If you're a fan of the original, you might find some enjoyment here, but it's best to go in with tempered expectations. My Spy, The Eternal City will likely appeal to you if you enjoyed the movies listed, as they share similar sensibilities. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more quick take reviews and recommendations. Peace to all.